Hello guys, I'm Delafix. Welcome back to X4 Reemergence. So, ah, last time I showcased uh, the Ota ships, and I I forgot. I think I was looking back at the footage. I I missed two. I missed the uh the, uh, the oh my god the Orus Orus. That's wow difficult. Uh, which is a fighter, and I missed the Solano, which is actually quite a funny funny looking scout uh which is quite fun we, we do need to get towards getting a few scouts guys at some point so uh well we have been really putting our money into hull parts and which has been great however uh, also transporting refined metals sounds all great but it's not really efficient and yeah we need to start changing the way we handle uh, goods, and and the reason I say that is because eventually it's just going to be it's going to be such a spaghetti, and and I've been thinking about second contact too over here. So, say we were to build a trading station, so the trading station with a level five. Unfortunately, we do not have one, but we have a level almost close to level four. So, uh, how far are you to... Actually, he is, I think, level 4. Let's, let's check that out. Uh, behavior... Yeah, 4. He actually is 4, so that's great. If that's over here, going to 1, 2, 3, 4. That's all the way over to this trading station. Is he, If he becomes 5, we can start trading with... Uh, uh, with, with the Pontifact, uh, it's, it's Pontifact? Jesus, why do I never... Yeah, uh, the Saragentus Pontineers. I don't know why I said Pontifact. Uh, and the other one, uh, we can supply over here. Uh, from over here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 would go to Trinity Sanctum. Uh, 1, of course. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way towards the Taladi Wharf. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot reach the Otas headquarters. Now, the Otas themselves have been doing quite well. And I'm not ready to commit myself to a faction yet we do need to do a few things we we need to improve our standings with um with the vigor syndicate because i don't like to be uh harassed by them hopefully we can get that started uh, but also if we go is one two three four and actually all the way to that train set we need to start placing satellites at all of these key locations because we didn't and i do not want to do that myself we have this uh this explorer who is currently exploring Agni's uh, Federation territories. He will do that because, well, <laughs> he will be doing that for a while. We we have a lot of systems. Like I said, there's over 200 systems. So, yeah. I think the best course of action for us is, uh, is building that trade station. Where am I currently located? So, that's over there. If we head over here real quickly Engage. because I need to find out how expensive are weapons. We need to find uh, some way, shape or form to just start to defend ourselves. It's going to be important because we've seen that Xenon ship coming in and that uh, that is um, that's not ideal if that starts happening. I want that station to be defended even if for some stupid reason we end up facing down with the Argon Federation as well as maybe the um oh the Antigon yeah my brain is 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 currently in bed I think because it is struggling to make sentences that make sense anyways with all of that we do have a bit of a log going on it's 30,000 over here now these guys they have I think it's a medium storage Oh, they have the large storage, huh? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, we might need Entering to change that. System. Argon Prime. I also would like to, in the future, build the solar power plant at this particular system, the Reach. Uh, with 367, we could start providing electricity to, well, the entire grid if we need to. Uh, let's quickly get... 
towards the Argan wolf. I keep Disengage. messing up wolves and shipyards. I do apologize for that. And we'll just go there really quickly. Docking mm. granted. There we go. So we need to find ourselves either the disc or the bridge. Successfully we need done. a shield. Yes. Well, we need medium We're shields. We potentially need large shields. And we need medium well, weapons. To to take off. You will just stay right there. Thank you. Okay, blueprints. Uh, defensive. Uh, I think it's going to be bridges first because it's cheaper. But the discs, I think, have more firepower. Uh, equipment. Turrets. Uh, what would be affordable? Uh, there's some really cool... Really cool weapons in there. Uh, those are missiles. This is a mining turret, so that's not going to be useful. Black. Huh. Most f uh, missiles and fighters. That's not what we're looking for. So damn expensive. I might need to start with just mediums. Uh, high accuracy, fire rate, make good point defense, although the damage and range are not that good, huh? Flag usually does work. High effective weapons at close quarters, definitely against fighters. Mm. Shotgun mounted rotation base shred light targets foolish enough. So it's all very... Um, close ranged. Fighters and missiles. I'm starting to think maybe cyclone turrets, but yeah, the damage is sub I don't like that. I don't want to start going into uh, missiles yet. Jack of all trades. Jack of all trades is good. Turret base hunter, uh, low fire rate, does not stop them from... Okay, so they do engage ships of all sizes. So it could, it could be something we need. So that could be our medium one. And then shields. I could just go with a Mark 1. But it's still quite expensive. Do I want to commit? Also, we need these. I think we need that, but I'm not sure. Um... The problem I see right now is this is actually costing me quite a bit of money. And these are all for ships. I don't see them really like for anything but ships. So I'm just assuming that the defensive structures do not need them. Would we be willing to commit or... Uh, let's cancel that. Good luck out there. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just, just, just let me back in. Or do we go modules, docking, and get at least a pier? So the large ships could do what I want them to do, and that's dock. And we could go... Can we go luxury? Oof. Yeah, I think we do need this, uh, in all honesty. I think we do need this. We do not have any way of having large ships dock at us. And I think that is slowing us down. So let's get Good that. Out there. Let's get to our ship. Let's Nova, tell him to Vanguard. get out of my seat. Short range transport. Oh, what's going on there? A. Hey, how are you doing? Okay, that's fine. Oh, ah, damn it. I keep messing up my buttons. Turret. Because I um, I got the, uh, the setup changed. Alright, let us see how much money you can squeeze out of our stations. 
Uh, let's say I want to stay at like 300,000. Same for you. They, they will make it back. But we do need money. We need money to actually get this uh, thing on the road. Oh, well, that's very disappointing. So this is where that very first trading station is going to be. Uh, and if possible, somewhere in this region, because I like it to be like defended. If they come in, this is going to be the first. That's the second. I'm thinking somewhere in this region. How expensive would that be? Um, not that expensive, actually, no. Yeah, that would work. Right over there. It's it's not large enough, though. So, let's go with a... 6x6. Six six. Continue. Uh, the large storage containers are like this, huh? Hey, right, Pierre. We have the e-dog, but that's just overkill. I don't like that. I didn't... I also, I completely forgot I had that. Sorry. If we do it like that, we could add the luxury ones on the sides. And then later, we can add this on this side as well. I don't want it to be too large. Uh, we could use the center area, hopefully... Uh, but I can check if that is true. Or if we want to add like bridges. The defensive structure. I think that should actually work. Problem here is it's blocking my, um, my view. So if we are going to go defensive, we probably want to make sure that we go upwards and then... Make sure that every direction, with apart from, of course, towards the station, is going to be covered. So that is, this is going to be it. Let's, uh, let's confirm that. Well, how expensive? Of course, it's going to be a very expensive. You. Uh, let's just give it 900,000. A bit more than that, actually. Something like that. So 800 is coming in. Uh, the second we can, we are going to be filling this up completely. So someone was asked to drop their cargo. So it is the Hermes Sentinel, the 186. You. And you are being asked by this pillager... Are these guys going to be um, assisting me in that manner? I don't think so. But he is definitely going to be annoying. Um, stop. 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 Stop that bull. Seriously. Are you able to get ahead... Get away from this. So he's going to be, of course, next to him. Shields are going down because he is burning through it. Come on, man. You you have to escape. Yeah, yeah just, just flee in the right direction. And, and you will not have any issues with me. Go. That's great. That nemesis is... Absolutely not doing anything to assist me. That's great. Awesome, dude. Um, let's let's try to get over there. Deal with him. Okay, so far so good. Come on, guys. Start attacking this guy. Yes. There you go. He's actually a, uh, a buccaneer, I think. No, he's not. It's produced by uh, the buccaneers. And skill play pack as well. So my ship actually survived. To fight another day. Okay, that's fine. I'm I'm very pleased with uh, the hops protection right now, because otherwise we would have definitely lost that. So uh, once that station is done, uh, we do need to make sure that we have satellites everywhere. Uh, do I have 
satellites on me. Uh, yes, but not, not a lot though. Uh, let's uh, dock up over there. I'm going to be getting myself a full complement. And what I'll do is I'll um, quickly just go towards these uh, shipyards. Uh, equipment docks, space labs, stuff like that. Drop a satellite. It's going to be a lot of them. Uh, by that time, I hope that uh, the majority is going to... Why did I not drop one over there? Do they not need, like, hull parts? Auto yeah, they do. Of course they do. Ah, oh, man. That's what you get when you're trying Thanks to be... I was just being slop. Oh, before I forget, uh, last time I was complaining about that uh, transport ship. And it's this one, the Express. Uh, so this ship is basically a crew rescuer. So that's why he has a very high crew capacity. And I think he moves at a very dis decent uh, decent speed. I keep forgetting that they added that. Uh, so yeah, that's why that ship, I almost have no storage. Yet, it has a large crew uh, capacity. Thank you. Okay, wait, thank you. Is that plus... Uh, we're getting towards the um, the plus 20 here, guys. That means that we, uh, we should be very, very... Um, Close to a trade subscription uh, with them once we have the money. So yeah, uh, like I said, I'm going to be dropping the satellites. Uh, we have a bit of money in the bank right now. Hopefully, soon I'll have enough to absolutely have the station built. So yeah, I'll meet you once I drop a few of these satellites off. And am committed. This might be a shorter episode actually. Thinking about this, this is actually a lot of work that I'm committing to right now. I might actually have to use this guy um, as well. Oh, all uh, one satellite, huh? That's that is. Um, I prepared myself well for this part, huh? Okay, so um, I got a bit of a uh, problem. <laughs> I've been stuck in an asteroid for quite some time now. Which is Nova Vanguard. quite annoying. I tried actually doing uh, a bit of a bomb. Uh, one of the things it did, it very much triggered my pilot. He was very upset with me. And I almost killed my ship. So yeah, this is, uh, this is a bit of a snitch in my... Uh, is it called a snitch in my plan? It's... It's probably something else, but my god, these asteroids, they are, they're not a joke. Um, the funny thing is there's, there's actually a, um, a good amount of ships who, uh, who I think uh, might be stuck. So one thing that I might, maybe it's collision, um, collision avoidance, maybe off for a second. If I can actually get my me and my ship out of this damn asteroid before I uh, suffocate, but yeah, this is um, I've never been this stuck. <laughs> I've been stuck <laughs> every now and then, though, but uh, never, never to this extent. Um, I am not able to get myself out of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy um yeah so interesting yeah um i think i'm just going to be entering and ah oh, man i also i saved maybe this helps maybe it's three minutes earlier because th this this episode is going nowhere <laughs> like this. This is definitely uh, killing my recording time. Uh, which is uh, it's a problem. Huge problem. So yeah. Hopefully that will help. Oh wow. I'm, I think I'm free. Oh 
I think I'm free. I've been in here for a scary amount of time, and I hate that. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, what did change? Did I... You do not have any orders. I'm going to let my pilot do, do its thing. Um, because of reasons. Uh, satellite quickly. Just just make sure you start moving. Because I have a lot of catching up to do. So yeah. I think that uh, definitely was uh, problematic. There's another thing that I need to turn back on. Uh, settings. Game settings. And that is the collision on. Please. I do not want to be stuck again. I think I was stuck. And I've been shooting at that asteroid for um, a good 10 minutes. Okay, so I have queued up a lot of uh, places for satellites to be dropped. Uh, I uh, did actually uh, found out my mistake before starting to drop down satellites. Uh, of course, these guys, they don't require any of the materials we are currently constructing. If we were doing energy cells, I doubt I would find it interesting enough to start dropping satellites in here because, well, we do not have the Terran supply. So, yeah, that's uh, that's definitely... I'm, I'm glad I caught that just in time. So, yeah, if you were typing that, then... Yeah, I, I actually did... Um, I did notice just, just in time. One of the things that I want to do is, um, is getting another... Let's get the trade-off. Let's get ourselves another scout. We have a tiny bit of money. And I might as well want to use that. Low preset because it doesn't have to be this. This is such a good damn ship. This is even a better ship. Because now that's that's glorious. That is so, so nice. Uh, let's get some flag. Uh, get some service crew. And let's build this one. Uh, confirm that. So he is going to be doing uh, the Holy Order of the Pontifex uh, systems. He's going to be scouting these. Uh, I would like this guy doing the Argon Explorer. This is going to be, well, the Hop, the Hop Explorer in 40 seconds. Rest of the money is actually going relatively nice. Um, especially the hull parts is doing. A very, very healthy amount of money. Uh, where the hell is the transaction log? There we go. Uh, let's go on profit. It's been doing 2 million uh, an hour. Can Entering I go to an actual hour? Gain. Show less. Yeah, it definitely boosted up. Look at that. That is nice. Once that trade station comes in, that will actually plummet. So... What I want to do, for those of you who don't know yet, is uh, we're going to be setting it up so these guys will trade with him. And from here on out, everything is going to be distributed to all of those uh, other factions. Uh, I do like doing that. I know it's potentially not the best way of doing it. I do like working the same way as the um the other these guys do basically what the same thing or they only trade with their own faction they do sell so this station the trading station they do buy in low and sell high it's a bit of an overflow i'm thinking about wanting to do the same thing where i will actually still let them sell let's go into station overview so currently they're selling at 400. And that's fixed. And the AI goes unfixed. So it will go absolutely go down. And then it starts selling a lot. Prices climb up. If anything. I want to make sure that this just goes through the trading. The end goods. The graphene and the refined metals. It kind of depends on how much we have. But I want my ships. And because this is why I want. We have two trading ships. Right. But they are just flying all over the place. I want them to focus on resupplying. Instead of going around and really um, trade. Let's, let's stop with that guidance because that's annoying me. 
Uh, we're now heading towards uh, Hop territory. Quickly drop down those satellites. I have this ship is now done. Nice. Let's set that up. So this is the Hop Explorer. Yeah. Did I type it correctly? Hopefully. Explorer. Yeah, I did. So. Where do I start? Does it matter? Not really. I'm aware. Explore. Explore. And then you'll take this one. And once we find gates, I'll let these ships go in. Into them. And I don't think I have so far. What What's the other guy doing? Yeah, this is actually taking the longest time though. Although Black Hole Sun's done. The belt of... Something is done. This is not Argon Federation. So he is actually about... To head over to Argon Prime. Eventually, and it will take me some time, we will find the uh, the remaining systems. For now, since we are actually building into the Antigon territory, might as well just go and take a look on how expensive these ships are with them. Flash. Do we want to start adding laser towers? It might be overkill. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm willing to commit just now. I do want to have service crew on that. So that's uh, 1.1 million. Entering but these ships, Duke's these are the domain. guys who actually are going to do the trading. And then in the future... Once this is done, um, either in Profit Center Alpha or Trinity Sanctum, we'll build another bun, but then we also need a distribution station. And then the, the entire thing is going to be a bit of a hassle. We can actually set up some trading. This is done on private. That's good. We can only trade with our own faction. There are some wares that I will set without restriction. There will be some wares that I am going to be setting up as um, to sell. And I will restrict my own faction. The problem is if I do that with hull parts... And I build a new station. They will not be using it. But so far I've not actually seen. Let's save the trade roll. Uh, I've not seen them use. Hold parts. It's just claytronics and energy cells apparently. Entering system. Lasting vengeance. Let's see if that's true. Configure rate station. Copy module. Yeah, claytronics and energy cells. No hull parts. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that then. Maybe it's in the claytronics. No, it's not. Okay, fine. Uh, that's actually good. Uh, one of the things that we could also start doing, because I doubt that... Some of these factories actually need to tra uh, to uh, transport ships. It's just distribute them again. He's getting labor contracts. So he's just going to be making a very short trips. Still the energy, labor contracts and the methane of course that, that's beside that. Now I think the minimum is going to be two. 
energy, labor. Did I set that up? Yeah, I did. Okay, never mind. Did I set it up correctly, actually? That's, that's the second question. I did, yeah. Okay, good. I would hate to waste space. So we're actually overproducing a lot of refined metals. They will still deliver to other stations. Maybe I should set that to private. And then the... Um, the automatic pricing could go... I don't know, off or something. Just so they trade with their own faction. And the rest will go to the uh, station. Where we can just... Um, sell. System. Because these, these two guys are great. They absolutely are. They are delivering to the OTAS. But is it efficient for them, for those two ships, to fly from over here all the way to, I think it was this station over here. Uh, let's zoom out a bit. It's actually being so, oh actually that's not the right one. Where is the other one? go refined is it here yeah 355 I, I don't think this is efficient at all uh, 181 oh, prices are nice though They don't need that. Refine metals 371. If I just set the refine metals to sell for like 300. Hmm. No, that would be a mistake. I would barely sell them. It's it's all of these trading stations, they um they really want to give a very low quantity for it that's um it's kind of annoying okay so once the energy cells in are in this starts building how much money did i make let's go back to 300,000, and i'll definitely want to add a few more look at this look at that whole part factory man that's it's gorgeous i love that Confirm that. Uh, you can close. You can close. Actually, no, you cannot. This is the this is the one that's uh, being built. So we have three. Well, yeah, three and a half million. Entering system. Holy vision. So that was um, one million something. How about this? They're faster as well. Seven hundred and two. So they actually are cheaper. Yeah, they're way cheaper. Yeah, definitely want a few of these. Let's uh, let's do four. Okay, let's do uh, let's do three. Let's do three. I want the station to be a success right away. The prices that we are selling, and he's on a repeat order. He's going to stop doing that. Um, how much hull parts do we absolutely have right now? None. We need to increase the station quite a bit because every time we have our parts it's being sold every time so i'm thinking doubling up doubling up without the um the cargo can i just do copy sequence okay i did decide to actually just basically like double up uh so that's another 10 million in the bank um, it's just easier for me to get into my local overview and just just doubling up these uh, these numbers. It's way easier for me. Uh, I didn't have to do any any mathematics uh, on that. So this is going to be um, two, five, four, Memory four, of profit. Uh, and and so on, so on. Yeah, 
Uh, I'm still waiting for that station to be done. Once it's done, we'll set it up correctly. And that would be the, uh, the end of this one. Okay, so one of the storages is now done. And one of the other things that I've been doing is I've been looking into what could be potentially our trade uh, market. Let's make sure I do not have any ships. So we are currently selling um, refined metals at 158. While we could also system. be Quality selling destroyed. them at, say, about 300 or more. Uh, if we go up any higher, you can see that actually it changed to 408. Uh, which is actually an out, so I need to go a bit lower than that. So, say, if we just set the re refine metals to 300, then that would be great. The uh, We'll actually do that right now, otherwise I know how my brain works, and it simply it doesn't. So, yeah, uh, refined metals over there. We will uh, buy in from my private and we will sell. And I'm going to say unrestricted for now because I'm a bit hesitant with the to sell because I'm worried that Entering if system. we do Violent need to, witness. it's going to be problematic. So I'm setting this to 300. And that's why I want a lot of trade vessels to go around. There's a lot in there. So the next one is going to be and let's remove refined metals from this list. Uh, graphene. Uh, we are currently selling at 164. Yet there is a need. 572. 473. Uh, 429. If, if we just say 400. Then graphene just became very interesting. Hull parts is going to be... 450 so graphene and hull parts hull parts graphene buy private and buy entering private. system light of heart sell 450 graphene sell 400 so these guys are going to be doing that now we need ourselves a manager this guy we already knew can i help you yeah you're going to be working somewhere else you're going to be working here at the uh trading station as the new Confirmed. manager then we're going to be getting ourselves another crew member as a manager this guy you're now going to be working for me at the graphene refinery. And I might actually have to give him a... Is it a him? I think it's a her, actually. Do Can I, I have seminars? No, just the piloting ones. Uh, we do need to find ourselves um, at least dead. But then again, we have the trading station, so it technically should be trading with my own faction if I set that up correctly uh, whole part station this is going to be private and average price doesn't really matter since we're just selling it to the trading station and we're not buying it so immediately, oof, that guy is going to be taking it. The graphene is private. Refined metals is private. Just, just making sure that it's set up correctly. The ore refinery. Also private. And you guys are going to be selling as low as you can go as well. Private. So he's actually, I think he's picking it up. The one thing I need to be careful of Entering is that, uh, no, actually they're not buying, so they're selling to it. So they will never buy, uh, sell it back to the station because I don't need a loop. That's the main issue. So that's how the, uh, the trading station is going to work. The storage is actually being filled up. 
Uh, we need to make sure that these guys... See that? One of four? Yeah. Will that change by itself? Two of four? Four of four? One of four? Uh, remove all assignments. Assign two. This should change uh, after that first trade. Yeah, four of four. Just have to keep an eye on that. Um, but they will be busy. They will be making me a lot of money. And it needs to happen fast. Because this money right now, it is going to dry up. And the reason why it's drying up, because we're buying in energy. And we're buying in the military schematics. That means that we do need to make sure that once we have the Entering money, system. we fill Akilas this beacon. up. If we don't, it's going to be problematic. And I don't need problematic in my life right now. So yeah, um, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope it was at least a tiny bit informative. I'll see after the editing how much actually remains. But till then, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.